This is Katie Colleen here. Welcome back, Colleen clan. Or if you are new, then come join the family. Cause today, we're making Halloween costumes for my forearm crutches. So these are our very special guest stars today. Reginald the right and Louise the left. And they are here to have a full Halloween makeover with their brand new Halloween costumes. I actually had you guys help me choose their costumes. So I posted to Instagram a few different designs that I had drawn up. You all voted for design number three more than anything else. So thank you everyone who voted. That's the design that we're going to be making. I have already made some crutch covers for these guys. I have a full tutorial on how I sew these. So I will put that video up here if you want to see all the all the little details of how I put these together. So let's get into making Halloween costumes for my crutches. So this design has little bat wings on the forearm cuff. So I'm trying to get that patterned out. I just kind of laid the crutch down and then I kind of sketched what looked right. Oh, it looks a little bit dramatic. I'm not sure if I like it or not, but I think this is probably what I'll go with. So with this pattern, I'm gonna cut it out in fabric and in stiffener so that it can like hold its shape very nicely. These little bat designs were actually inspired by bat wings for your shoes. I did not realize these existed, but lately I've been spending a lot of time shopping on Etsy because I guess that's my retail therapy and I feel really good supporting small businesses and it justifies me spending a whole bunch of money on things I don't need. And so when I was on Etsy, I saw that people made bat wings like for their shoes. And I just thought that was like the coolest thing ever. So that's where the idea for the bat wing placement for these guys came from. So these are cut out. And this probably seems a little like excessive. So I have eight of these and eight of these, but there is a reason why. <laughs> so each bat wing, has one layer of fabric, two layers of stiffener, and then another layer of fabric on the inside. And that is for a single bat wing, and I'm making four. <laughs> so each crutch will have two little wings and be its own little bat. They're cosplaying as little pastel bats this Halloween, and I think that's adorable. Okay, so I have two cuts of the bat wings here, just two of those little fabric wings. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line up these sides, and then I'm going to sew from here. I'm gonna sew from this corner, here, here, down each of the points. And I'm gonna leave a space between these two green pins, which I'm not gonna sew. And then I'll have a little pocket to put my stabilizer in. You can pin this however you like. I like living on the edge, so I actually just have been sewing this without pinning anything. I just go for it. So now I have all the edges sewn and I have this little opening here. So I'm gonna flip this over. We got a little bat wing pocket thing. So I'm going to take two stabilizers because these are pretty thin. I'm gonna line those guys up and then those are gonna go in the pocket. So it's gonna look something like this. And then we're gonna have to sew up our hole. So I'm just gonna fold the fabric over and this time I will actually use pins. So we're gonna fold the fabric over and then we're just gonna stitch straight over this with the top stitch. I'm gonna top stitch everything. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of detail. So I'm using a fabric pen. So I'm going to draw little like, what is it? Bones? Yeah, like the bone structure kind of like how the wings have lines. I'll, I'll put up a picture of what I'm trying to say. So then I'm going to use a top stitch, just a normal straight stitch on my machine. And I'm going to just follow these lines that I've sketched out. Okay, I now have four bat wings finished. So now I'm just gonna hand sew this guy to the side and that's how it's gonna look. You know, at least my crutches are getting a Halloween costume cause I'm not really this year. Halloween's kind of canceled this year, unfortunately. 
So for Halloween, I take my little brother trick-or-treating. The event that I usually take him to, I'm pretty sure canceled because of COVID. Like I see no reason why it would not be canceled. <laughs> I guess I'll hand out candy this Halloween. We don't get a lot of trick-or-treaters. Last year, we had just moved here, so we weren't sure how much candy we should have. Like we didn't know how many kids to expect. So we bought like four or five of the huge party bags because we we're like, I don't know. Uh, Cause it was my first, I think it was my first Halloween since I moved out from my parents' house. So we had a lot of candy and we had this one girl come up and it was like near the end of the night. Like it was seven o'clock, eight o'clock. And that's usually when the trick or treating is like pretty much done. I kid you not, I gave this child an entire party pack of candy. An entire party pack of candy. And she was ecstatic. Her, uh, I believe her father was standing out on the street and she came back and she was like, dad, look. And she gave me an entire bag of candy. And he was like, thanks. Yeah, I don't know if he was actually happy about that or not. But the thing is me and my husband certainly can't eat like five party packs of candy all on our own. That's not gonna happen. So that's why I was like, I need to like offload this candy pronto. Nick, that's working pretty well. I wasn't sure the single um, hand stitching would hold it, but that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. Ta-da! I am loving these. So now that I've done kind of like the hard face work, we get to do fun stuff. We get to like bedazzle and glitter. These are already glittery crutches. Um, I bought I bought a lot of fun stuff for this. I mentioned how I was buying a lot of stuff off Etsy. So I got these charms from their stores called Real Live Human Shop. I'm under the impression that they resin cast these themselves. I love these charms. In fact, I loved these charms so much and I didn't think this was enough to bedazzle the crutches. So I bought like three times as much in a second order. So I'm going to put a link down below if you want to check out where I got these gorgeous sparkly charms. I'm not sponsored or collabed or anything. I just really liked their work and they were really awesome to work with. So we are going to put these little charms on the crutches. Now on my design, I also had like little beads also on it. So I bought beads too, obviously. So I have some of these glass beads in kind of like fun pastel colors. <laughs> so let's get to bedazzling um, just this, this section here. Uh, and I'm just gonna hand sew those on. Crutch cover part one of four, I guess. Um, so this is kind of what I decided to do to the first part. So I have two ghosty boys, a little bat, and I chose three little beads to put on there. I'm loving how this looks. It's, it is, however, taking a very long time <laughs> to like hand sew all of this on. Yeah, I am uh, by hand sewing each one of these little guys on. So I will get back to you guys when I have this done and I will show you parts one through four of how I decided to decorate. Decorate these guys. I already got one ghosty boy on this side. So I lied, I only have one crutch done right now. Uh, so my thinking was because my finger is getting sore from hand sewing that I would do the second part of the crutch now and I go back to hand sewing the other crutch. So I have some ribbon and then I have some electrical tape, which I'm gonna go grab. This is something that's honestly kind of awkward to wrap. Okay, so that is the ribbon part of the crutch. <laughs> that looks crazy. So my concern with just doing the ribbon was I felt like it would probably like sag. It honestly looks pretty, pretty on there, but I, I kind of felt like this would start to fall down. So I'm gonna use my electrical tape and I'm gonna crisscross over that. This shouldn't leave any residue on your crutch or at least it shouldn't leave any residue you can't take off because I, I used this with my uh, Christmas crutches video and it was completely fine. Um, I will say, however, interesting story. 
for my Christmas crutches video. Um, I didn't know how to do crutch covers back then. Like I just hadn't really considered it, I guess. So for that video, um, I used sticky back rhinestones. So I stuck some of these rhinestones onto my crutches for the cuff and those left quite a bit of residue. So my crutches are still kind of sticky on the cuff, which is why I generally always have crutch covers on them. That's one crutch complete. So let me wrap the other one and then I can get back to the tedious task of hand sewing everything. Let me like zoom you guys out so you can see the full experience. So, I'm gonna finish this up and then you guys can see the final costumes for them. I'm really happy with how this turned out and it did turn out actually looking like the design I drew up. So I'm super excited about that. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. I think they look awesome. I think Louise and Reginald never looked better, to be completely honest with you. Feel free to tell me what you're doing this Halloween in the comments if you'd like to share your plans. And be sure to check in next week to see the outfit that is supposed to match these crutches. And maybe, you know, give some enlightenment as to why I chose pastel pink for my Halloween design for my crutches so that's gonna be next week's video and thank you guys so 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 much for watching and I will see you all in the next video bye